No, I just, no, I just thought that obviously it's probably not gonna be anything like new, new, but it's gonna be like more frequent or, or somehow even better. You can almost not even tell. Like it actually just looks like them or something with the new cream order. We carefully examined all the suspects, and there is no evidence that any means of disguise were used in this case. Hmm. Oh well, 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 well. Wait a minute. Huh. Well then, how do we explain all this? Yeah, that that queen basically just swap body. So far, it seems more likely that the gang stole documentation belonging to the inmates due for release, and are using that to commit identity fraud. You may how dumb I look right now. If that whole thing does not even relate to this, it's it's not even relatable. At the end of it, it's like just some something, you know, some some other things how they did it. And I'm being accusing this butterfly duo the whole story. Mm, actually, there is a potion that can completely change someone's appearance. If they use that, even a melazine wouldn't be able to detect it. Oh, okay, a never mind. A shifting potion? Here we go. Forgive me, head nurse, but this is the first time I'm hearing about it. If such a potion truly existed, it would jeopardize our entire investigative process at the Marsho Save Phantom. Are you certain of this? Yes, I am. But... Please, trust me in my professional opinion as an experienced clinician. At the same time, without any solid evidence, it's pure speculation. Hmm. If we can round up all the inmates suspected of switching places, then have a little talk with both sides, we might just get our answer. Yep. Let's do that. Okay. Well, it was our negligence that meant we had to come and conduct these post-internment interrogations. And I know it's put you out. <sighs> we'll do it your way. Your Grace. Bad news. I paused the releases like you asked, but we were too late. A bunch of people already got processed two hours ago. Oh, well. I checked the list, and sure enough, it's all the people who gave statements. Two hours ago? That's before today's interrogations began. They had this all planned out. So there really was a switch after all. <sighs> they really pulled the wool over our eyes on this one. We should be able to catch up with them if we leave now, right? Not if that potion is real. They can just switch faces again after leaving the fortress. And if the Marachose's Melazines can't even spot them, we wouldn't know where to start searching. Yeah. Yikes! So we're at a complete dead end! Hmm. What could we do here? Technically, there is one more lead we could follow up on. We were only able to arrest this gang thanks to the help of a researcher from the Fontaine Research Institute. I believe his name is Rawat. Rawat? That's, that's the guy. Oh? What? Rawat? Isn't that the handsome guy we met at that skincare promotion? Handsome? Uh, <laughs> maybe from a human point of view. I just remember that he specialized in potions. One of the crimes this gang is charged with is the manufacture and sale of illicit drugs. According to Mr. Rawat, they appear to have stolen technology he developed through his research and used it in their operation. Mm, is that so? At first, he thought it was a typical case <clears throat> of intellectual property infringement, and he tried to negotiate with them. But once he discovered their criminal operation, he reported them to the authorities. Thanks to his report, we were able to swoop in and arrest them all in one go. What a hero! But that took courage on his part! Hmm. I thought maybe Rowat was the bad guy, but... Maybe he still is. I'm not very convinced, because this type of twist happens all the time in Genshin. All the time. 
I am not even surprised. The robot is most likely not a good guy. He's totally in on this and that body he has right now, he said he used the product on himself as well, which is probably very true. And that product probably somehow swaps their body or the technology or whatever. I don't know how they do it, but I'm assuming through it, you know, he switched with some has a dude and promoted it so more people would buy it so he could uh, hmm, earn money I, I, no I, doubt I, hmm. this is worth following up on okay as well, the one I who snitched it. on them uh, it's highly likely that Rawat will be targeted by the escapees that aside since he's negotiated with them in person before there's a chance he'll have some additional information for us yeah the, I mean then why would he out the people in the first place. Probably gonna be some reason, but I feel like he's not a good guy. It's just, it just feel like it's a Genshin thing. It just, it just feel like it's a Genshin thing. It's like, huh? You thought all along. No, he's actually this. He actually is the boss of the the gang, dude. It was all planned. Haha. Uh -huh. Ro what? It's actually the evil guy. Understood, Your Grace. My team and I will head to I'm the Fontaine so sure Research Institute right end. away. In the meantime, please keep an eye on the face switch victims for us. Of course. Um, Miss Morgan, I'd like to come along and help you catch these criminals. Uh, huh? Why is that? Well, I'm the one who discharged the fake Eric last night, so I feel partly responsible. Um, don't say that, head nurse. Your focus was on the inmates' health, and rightly so. We can't ask you to help with arresting criminals. That's our duty. Um, I also have a more personal reason. Potten is a patient of mine, and if I don't get a new batch of medicine to him in time, his condition will get much worse. <sighs> Look, head nurse, I completely understand where you're coming from. But arresting criminals is dangerous business. And if anything happened to you, none of us can afford to take on that responsibility. <laughs> Don't worry. I can defend myself just fine. <laughs> we 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 know she has uh she can trap people in bubbles and she has a ginormous needle. Or what do you call it? Uh yeah, we'll call him a needle. What do you call it? A, uh, yeah, I think that's what you call it, a needle. <sighs> you say that, but still. If I may, Miss Morgan, Sijuin is the one who raised the potion hypothesis, and I'm sure she has far more expertise <clears throat> on the topic than your team. My suggestion would be to bring her with you. And if you really are worried for her safety, then... We can go with you. Paimon and I are coming along anyway. Ah, there you go, right on cue. Knew I could count on you. Ay ay, Captain. Okay. Or I mean, well, uh, since this plan uh, has the Duke's blessing, uh, far be it from me great. to refuse. We should head off immediately. Time is of the essence. Wait. Oh, never mind. This is this. Yeah. Greetings. Uh, sorry to impose, but. I'm afraid we're here on urgent business, and we're going to need you to cooperate. So now it's work, but I I don't know how that even makes sense. It's like um, it, it, it was like the game was already lagging. We removed the thing that was lagging, but the game was like still like still stuck at that lagging thing. So even when the the, the thing that made the game lag in the first place were stopped, the game was still stuck in that phase so i had to restart it for it to like ah oh oh yeah i'm not lagging anymore ah <gasps> okay i'm good now <laughs> even though the lag thing was already gone it's like it didn't update itself the marsh is a phantom let me guess you're investigating some more legal research not this time no we're looking for a researcher do you know where we might find mr rawat what? Oh yeah, Mr. Handsome, right? 
Does, does everyone call him that? He actually doesn't work on site here very often. There's a handful of researchers in the nearby area who know him pretty well, though. You can see what they know. All right, thank you, Mr. Bognor. Just a handful? Bognor. I figured he'd be the most popular guy around. Well, I guess you could say he's popular, at least on a superficial level. He's blessed with good looks, so he tends to make a good first impression on people. That's what it is. I think I already... Yeah, I've already talked about this, but... Yeah. If you're... If you... Have, like... If you just look good... Your life basically is just easier. I'm not, I'm not, I mean, it's not suddenly super super easy, I'm not saying that. But if you are, a lot of things are going to be way more e like way easier than for other people, whether you want to believe that or not. Maybe not for everything, but most things are. Because you tend to be more like reliant on people who might be looking good you know compared to someone who doesn't look as good it's like, it's like um it's not a really fair comparison because i mean i don't know let's say both we have two doctors both of the same you know uh, grade they are, they are, they are both <clears throat> each equally good okay they're, they're equally good but the other one is not as good looking, and the other one is a very handsome man, okay? Or a woman, good looking, okay, right? Who would you want to have to help you? Who? I would most likely assume you would most likely want the handsome person to be looking over you? you you're most likely going to say, I don't care, but I don't believe you. I do not believe you. Just say you. You now. You're just saying that because you're like. Um. Actually, I don't really care. And even when when it actually happens, you're like way more trustworthy towards the person who most likely looks more attractive than the person who is not. But in all his time here at the Fontaine Research Institute, I, I mean, don't that's think how he's I ever had a least. single deep conversation about his research with his peers. That's no way to make real friends around here. I mean, I it's not like I'm not saying that like, I wouldn't trust someone who's not good looking. I said if I had to choose, or if like a comparison, if one doctor helped me first, the guy that's not looking as good, he's doing a pretty good job, right? I'm like, oh yeah, there's nothing wrong with him. He's nice, he's kind, he's super sweet, like he's helpful, super helpful. And then there comes another doctor. You know, and he helps me as well, and but he's way more charismatic and everything. I'll be like more affectionate at, towards that 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 person. I'm like, damn, you know what? Yeah, I like that doctor way more. He was way better, actually, even though he does he did nothing better. Maybe. I don't know. It's just that I feel like being attractive in general just helps That's you with a lot so of things. Weird. He definitely didn't come across like a recluse like, at that product promotion. It's like when you're in store, like, trying to search for, like, it's like you're uh, applying for a uh, job in a store or wherever, applying for a job. Who do you honestly, of course they're gonna look at your experience. They want that experience. If you have done it before, how good you are, if you have done any similar job to the, to the one you're applying for. But if you see an absolute gashat to try to work for the clothing store, I, I, let's say let's say me. Let's just just compare me. Let's say just me. I have like a way more experience. I've been working on the field for ten years in this branch. Like I've been working all sorts of stores. Like I have all kind of experiences, right? But I'm not that attractive a guy. And then comes this handsome mother zugger, an absolute gashat. He has no experience, okay? Maybe a little experience, I don't know, he, he's like new, he's like, uh, he's green. He comes in, he goes to an interview, and they look at him, they're like, oh my lord. I honestly believe they would pick that guy because, because the, it reflects on the working place they are working at, at the same time as their clothing that they wear. They'd be like, oh dude, 
This guy is working and he looks so handsome. Maybe I can look like him if I start to buy clothes here. Maybe I can ask him for tips and see if I can maybe, you know, look like him a little bit better or, you know, you know, instead of a guy, you know, let's just, you know, like, um, hmm, nah, this store seems, I mean, it's pretty nice clothes, but, uh, I'm okay, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't find that weird at all. He definitely didn't strike me as the kind of guy who's, uh, good at making friends. Just, 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 yeah, I just wanted to say last thing, just the point, now, I'm not, like, super mad or try to justify anything, I'm just saying, in general, if you're a good looking person, you might, might, that is, uh, might, have a better chance, and make things easier for you in life, just because you are attractive. Really? Mine. Ivan couldn't tell. Not everything. Must be a melusine perception thing. Some things they don't care about, so. Okay, we should talk with his acquaintances. But we also need to check the research institute for any clues. Let's split up. It'll save us some time. Sure okay, thing. My hair we'll go ask work. around among the other researchers with Seedweed. Ivan's suddenly kind of curious to know what everyone really thinks of him. Okay, let's go and talk to them. Hold on. I need to fix my freaking hair. It's in my face again. Okay, finally a little bit better. I just had to take some water to pull my hair back, man. Christ, it's like I when I just start showering or something. It's some is you. Am I supposed to ask you? Oh, uh, I don't think I'm supposed to ask you. Am I supposed to ask you or? No, who am I? Oh, 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 it was, it was a guy down there. Oh, hang on. Eh. Hi there. Excuse us, are you Audrey? That's me. What is it? Are you close friends with Rawat? We're trying to find out where he is. Close friends? <clears throat> You mean, because I told him I had feelings for him once? I doubt I'm the first or last at the Institute to make that mistake. Jesus. Why would you single me out as a close friend? What happened? I should have known, really. Men like him, they just enjoy being surrounded by fawning women. They're not interested in a serious relationship. Okay... <laughs> We were just kind of wondering if you might know where we can find him. Hmm. It's like, why? Why lock you? <laughs> if you know you're a ten, why lock yourself with one? I mean, some 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 people are like that. Some people are like that. Like, um, you know, I'm um, I'm sure there are people out there who think like that. I mean, you like, I know my value. I'm ten. I can get anyone I want. Why would I? Lock myself with one person where I can get it with a many, because they think many is better than a long-lasting good relationship. Because they, because I think they believe that having more is better. Why would I know where he's at? I barely know him, and he probably doesn't Isn't even that remember what's me. All about these things. Ugh, this is getting annoying. Shall we go ask someone else? Because I think, like, I believe that there's, there's, that's what's going on nowadays. 100%. Where it's like, um, you know, because people keep always asking, like, oh, how many bodies, how many bodies? Like, oh, you only have two? Oh, you only have three? Wow, bro, I have like ten, dude. I, I hooked up with two last week. You're like, oh, uh, okay, that's, that's cool. <sighs> I think I'm gonna she stop knows Rawat better than I'm she getting, cares I'm being to admit. Myself. If we leave now, it might be a wasted opportunity. I can already tell him I'm, how angry I'm gonna be when I'm editing this because I'm, because sometimes I realize I talk so much that the game is just stuck like this, and then I keep editing out me talking because you know while editing I'm not joking, I'm serious. I keep saying while editing, shut up, shut up, shut up. Can I please shut up? Can you shut up? Can you shut it? Shut it? Shut it? Please? Christ, 
Shut it. No one, no one cares about your opinion. No one cares. I keep saying that all the time. And I'm probably going to edit this out. We're not going to get much offer while she's in this state, are we? She's displaying symptoms common among people in love, if that's what you mean. But I know a cure. It's curable? <clears throat> Move on. <laughs> oh, we're still no closer to finding Mr. Rawat. Oh, by this point, he could be in grave danger. D danger? Wait, why are you looking for him again? See, you're too smart, man. You're too smart. You know, you know how to pull the the the, the, fee, the feeling. <laughs> oh, uh, that's right, Tina. The Marshal say Phantom said that he's been targeted by some pretty bad people. We need to make sure he's safe. We need to help him. Help! Help me find him, please. What? How oh, has this danger. happened? He seemed fine when I last saw him, and that was only a couple of days ago. <clears throat> Just happened to run into him, of course. Uh huh. Where? Oh, I see, I see. Well, do you have any thoughts on where he might be right now? Be doing you to come. Okay, yeah, we... but this is purely out of concern for his safety. If he's not at the institute, he might be at his mother's place. I heard she raised him alone, that they had it pretty tough financially, and these days she's housebound due to illness. Oh. He makes regular trips back home to check on her. Oh. Oh, okay. Do you know the address? Nope. Nope, sorry. <laughs> I only found out the thing about his mother because it came up in conversation once. I was just trying to find out more about him. You know, so I could get to know him better. But that was a mistake as well. <laughs> when I told him I had a crush on him, I offered to help him take care of his mother. And yeah, maybe that was a stupid idea, but did he really have to yell at me for it? It's like, fine, I can take no for an answer, but what's with the temper tantrum? Huh. Unbelievable. <sighs> These guys only want to show you their charming, well-groomed exterior. They can't stand it when a few home truths shine through. Uh, looks like her love syndrome is flaring up again. We need to find out Mr. Rawat's mother's address. Let's check with the Marsha C officers when we regroup. Okay. Cool, sounds like a plan. Alright. How about you uh, over here, Mr. Um, uh, <laughs> Anti-B? Hey there! Are you in Teep? Oh. <laughs> Anteeb? Uh, yeah, of course. I, I said Anteeb. You guys have heard me wrong. You need to listen better. I said Anteeb. What do you want? Hi, bro. We're here to ask about Rawat. Any idea where he might be? We were told you were pretty close with him. Close? <laughs> Not sure that's the word I'd use. He wouldn't even let me use his patent. Huh? Everything's the same. He's like, hmm, close. I would say close. It's been a good few days since I last saw him. I don't know where he's at. Go ask someone else. Um, would the patent in question happen to be related to the new skincare product he developed? <laughs> yeah. Kinda. Butterfly do, or whatever he calls it. <laughs> I heard he made a tidy sum off of that one. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Keep going. Most of the other researchers here focus on mechanics, energy, stuff like that. I get why he wouldn't be interested in having anything to do with them. But I'm studying coatings. There's a huge overlap in our areas of research. Why would he refuse to work with me? I bought his product once, and noticed it contains a unique substance that might have applications and coatings, too. If it worked out, I could probably make as much as he's making. Don't get me wrong, I had no intention of plagiarizing his work. I was hoping to get official permission to use his findings in my own research. Followed the proper procedure, it was all above board. I would have had to pay him a license fee and everything. But despite that, he turned me down not once, not twice, but three times. It's like he's vehemently opposed to the idea of anyone else making the kind of money he does. Huh, so is Rawat antisocial, or is this guy just jealous? I mean, I feel like it's his own choice whether he wants to share it or not, right? Like, if he don't want to give it up, I mean, 
Sure, I understand you can get mad at it, but I mean, can you blame the guy? He's like finding, you know, gold, and then you're like, oh, can you share me how you find that gold so I can also find that gold even better? He's like, um, no, <laughs> no. How about how about how about no? <laughs> Maybe both of the, the above. Well, it doesn't look like we're gonna get any info about Rawat's whereabouts from him. Let's go! We got better information from the other girl. Uh, wait, one second. Mr. Antip, next time you go shopping, you should buy some Buell fruits. Peel the skin, steep in water, then drink. It'll help calm your mood. Why oh, is that so? Huh? Uh, yeah. Thanks. I mean, he's actually very CGI, but I mean, you know, you can't be blaming him. I mean, sure, you can get angry with him, but when you say something like that, you know, I mean, I mean, if I came up with something revolutionary like that, I wouldn't really just give it away. Some some guy come up to me like, hey, yo, listen, listen, dude, I I'll give you money for your research that you have done. You found a super good thing, you know, you... You know, I want to be able to also use it and evolve it myself to make it even better so I can earn more money than you. How about that? That sounds good, right? F off. <laughs> Back. Sorry to bother you, Back. sir, but are you Bertram?